All right, well, it is Friday and it has been a long week. I am looking forward to this weekend, let me tell you. The hike is like, you know, it's kind of like my meditation where I'm not thinking about work. I'm just thinking about hiking, throwing knives and focusing on what I'm doing here in the woods and just enjoying this time, not thinking about anything else. So it's kind of like meditating. For me, it's meditative anyways. I'm going to check on those frogs and see if I can see any more of those frogs and uh, throw some knives and see if I can find any other cool stuff. Yep. So those frogs are totally gone. I wonder where they went. The only place they could really have gone because they need to be wet is that river over there. So I guess they must have made a journey through this bush and uh, found some solace. Yeah, it's really cool when you come outside every day and you come into the woods every day. I've been uh, I've been doing these hikes now for about a year. It's September now and uh, I started these hikes last September by coming out of my lunch break and doing hikes. And um, it, it's just really cool to see how the landscape changes. Mostly I'm just seeing it in the woods, but in nature, you know, it's cool to see how the landscape changes over time through the seasons. Now that I've been doing this for a whole year, you just notice uh, different flowers that come out and different animals. And it, it's, it's really uh, actually um, really interesting and, and fun to see. Like right now there's these like right now in particular, there's these nice flowers that are, that just came out in the last couple of days that weren't here before. And there's a whole field, field of them. And they're all over, they're all throughout the woods. Get through that way. So we have to go up. Looks like some sort of 
hideout for a coyote or a fox or something. See how the knives stick in. Two out of three. We have a ton of spider webs across the face today. <clears throat> there seems to be, for some for some reason, there seems to be a lot of a lot of webs and getting in the faces and hiking. But anyway, um, I think I'm improving on these long distance throws. I am using the Smith and Wesson knives today, which uh, I did notice seemed to give me a little bit better accuracy on the long distance throws. But um, I also seem to just be getting better at the long distance no spin throws. So that's good. And which is part of the reason why I make these videos to track my progress with uh, night throwing as well, amongst other other things. But um, yeah, we're gonna move on. I know I say never to throw up pine trees, but sometimes I just can't help myself. But hopefully these aren't gonna be sticky. So what happens when you throw up pine trees? In case you haven't. Uh, caught it in any of my other videos is tomorrow where are those these holes where I just these holes that I just made in the pine tree are going to be leaking with sap and you can see there's already sap on the pine tree but um, anyway they just make your knives sticky from the sap and it gets on your fingers and it's hard to throw oh just barely caught it on the edge It's so hard to get. Finger is sticky. A little bit of sap from the pine tree.
Dodge that second one. All right, well, that's it for me today, and that's it for the week. I was using the uh, Smith & Wesson knives today, and now they're all, they, I banged those off each other a whole bunch of times today, and um, now they're all scuffed up. I'm gonna have to file all my knives down um, to get all the spurs off. But today was a good hike, great hike. All the frogs are gone, unfortunately, but um, it was fun looking for them, and it was fun seeing them throughout this week. Did pretty well with my long distance throwing with the, using the, uh, the Smith & Wesson knives. Got a number of accuracy throws in and uh, overall just had fun hiking and hanging out in the woods. But you'll have a great weekend and a great week and a great day whenever you're watching this. See ya.